Hey lovelies, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. It's my Davis here today and I'm back with another video. So guys, today's video is a different kind of video. The video that you don't even see on my channel, you've never seen on my channel before. It's a reaction video and if you click this video, you already know I'm reacting to a particular TikTok. If you don't know TikTok, TikTok is an app. I've been on TikTok since yesterday guys and I've been seeing a lot of skincare tips. I'm like, Ooh. there are some that wow me, and some there are some that like. Hmm. So I decided to bring it here on YouTube to share with you guys and to react on some of the videos. I just have to save random videos, and I'm going to watch it here together. Okay, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a huge thumbs up. Whenever you like my video, whenever you comment down your thoughts or whatever you gain in the video, it helps the video to grow, and it also helps my channel. So always like my video and subscribe guys let's go straight to this video i am going to be playing the videos on the screen here so that you guys see watch it alongside with me so the first thing you need is tea tree oil and this is really cheap i got this at walgreens for five dollars after you've popped a pimple all you have to do is just take one drop of this because it's super strong and just gently rub it on top of the open wound where you popped your pimple. It will kill the bacteria and help to prevent it from spreading and causing more breakouts in that area. Then the second thing that you do is you take pure vitamin E oil. This was $11 on Amazon. It's really, really thick in its pure form. Put a little bit on a Q-tip and then completely cover the open wound. Vitamin E is fantastic for speeding wound healing and for preventing scarring. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see how she, in short, number one thing is that her skin is very flawless, which I like, I like her skin is very smooth, okay? But the first thing she applied, which was applying tea tree oil directly on her pimples and popping the pimples first is a no-no for me. I would not advise you to directly put tea tree oil on your face. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. she used on the face is very good which is vitamin C it also it helps with pimples and also helps with your wrinkles as well so I've never tried it before but that tea tree oil I don't recommend you putting directly tea tree oil on your face what do you think if you're a skin therapist and you're watching this video put it in the comment section what do you think if somebody should um, apply tea tree, tea tree oil directly on the face what do you think do you think it's good or bad my I think it's bad What? Doug. Doug. Actually, it's painful. I'm crying. Oh my god, my head hurts. <laughs> nope. I'm done. <laughs> Let's watch the game. I don't understand what was happening there. I don't understand. Please, let's watch the game. What was that? What was that? What was that? What was going on? What? Doug. Doug. Actually, it's painful. I'm crying. Oh my god, my head hurts. <laughs> nope. Guys, there was this time I was watching a um there was time I was watching a YouTube video about how to look 30 years younger than your age. I've seen experts on YouTube, doctors that recommend that you should put your face directly on ice water, ice blood, just with these ladies are doing it, okay? When I said that, I was like, okay, I was going to try. I thought I was going to try, but seeing this video, mm -mm, I'm going to try. Let me be old. I will use collagen supplements, okay? Like, seriously, it's okay, it's a good therapy for your skin, but you know, beauty is pain. So, if you want to try, you want to look younger than your age, this is for you. But, but, but you have to endure the pain, okay? Y'all keep asking, so I'm finally gonna show you how I take off these face masks. <laughs> For the record, this does not feel good. Uh, my skin is really tight, it's a little on fire, and I'm really concerned about it, so. What a washcloth with warm water. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh! Oh, it hurts. Ew! Y'all, I... 
Okay, you see the difference? I am so serious. Do not buy this, okay? This is how I can smile with the mask still on half my face. <laughs> this could be one hell of a Too Faced costume for Halloween, though. Now for the other side. Ugh. Oh, this is the worst part. Ow! Yay, I'm all done. Doesn't my skin just look absolutely beauty right now? <laughs> No, but seriously, probably don't buy that mask. Guys, our first video before this one, she bought um, a particular mask. I don't really know the name. She bought a particular mask on Amazon and she sent to try it. You know, when you buy something in the market and you want to try it, okay, that's what she did. And can you see what that means to her? That is why I don't even like buying things to try on my face. That's about one reason. That's why when I see some, some things in the market, when I see some things, people advertising things, like, oh, this thing is good for the face. Before I can try it, hey, I must be very, very, I must gather audio strength, audio visible. Okay, so my advice if you want to try something new on your skin, do not just put it boom. Maybe she just patch test. She has actually done a little patch test on her face or on her skin to see how the mask is gonna feel like. Probably her face will not be like that. Okay, this is the most impromptu TikTok ever. However, you need to see this. Okay, so this is me, but you see, I have these pores right here that were always kind of like little black dots. I just thought, oh, I'm brown, I'm hairy, I guess it's hair, but it's not. I saw a video from an esthetician on YouTube and she talked about oil cleansing for 15 to 20 minutes and you'll get out little oil plugs. And I was looking at her like, what are you talking about? So she recommended oil cleansing for 15 to 20 to 30 minutes, like very long time, and they'll come out. And I thought, no way in hell is that going to work on me. Well, well, look at this this isn't even all of it that's crazy man i never thought i could get these out i was in such a rush to tell you i still got the oil on my face and i'm still gonna get more of these out i'm gonna end y'all with this video because that is still amazing to me oh my god guys if you've not seen my video on oil cleansing click this video right here or go down to the box to watch that video yeah, I also actually started this oil cleansing not long ago and I've seen results just like ass. You should give it a try. Oil cleansing is something like people don't really talk about. People seem to run away from it because they feel like if you use oil directly on your face, you tend to break up or you tend to have um, rough skin and all of that. It's the opposite. Okay, if you're using the right oil for your skin, you're not going to break out, you're not going to have bad skin or too oily skin. If you have oily face, you can still oil cleanse. It's even the best way to remove your makeup. If I want to take off this makeup on my face now, I have to oil cleanse it. Okay, so it is the best way to take off your black hair. So I can see how bad a black hair is. The only thing, the challenge there is that it takes a lot of time. Mm -mm. I'm not lying. If you're a nursing mother or you are in the hurry, I see a person that's they are out. You have rubbed your cream. You cannot oil cleanse. You must, as in, it's like massaging your face. You must take your time. You, should, you must even just unconsciously be touching your face with that oil, be rubbing it, and then you will see the results. You cannot just do it for one minute or two minutes and think you've done oil cleansing. You're wasting your time. You have to do it at least. You did it for 10 to 15 minutes. I did I do mine for 5 to 10 minutes. I cannot wait for 10 to 15 minutes. Good day. I can't wait. I wouldn't like. But that 5 to 10 minutes alone is really good and it actually helps my face. Okay? So let's watch the next and the last video. Okay? What I mean by that is use less product. On the left is a pea size amount and on the right is what I was using. And my pores were getting clogged, not with sebum, but with excess product. So once I started using less, my skin got so much better. Guys, guys, how many times I call you? <laughs> if you want to treat your face, if you're using cream for your face, don't say because Nami do the cream or Nami sister dash me. Or it was a free big cream, or it is cheap. I can afford it next time. Or it's too big. I must finish this cream in two weeks. Or I must wait tomorrow. 
so I must pack this cream on my face. Mm -mm. It doesn't work that way. If you take a lot of face cream on your face, if you pack a lot on your face, guys, you're going to break out. So don't pack too much face cream. I do that before. I do that before. I will not lie. I've done that before. I think that was one of my own thinking. I was thinking that, okay, if I use a lot of cream on my face, all oh, that pimples or oh, that spots will just go on time or I'll get so light. So using small amounts of a face cream can go a long way. You don't need Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to this video right here and I don't want to do this for so long. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. Stay hydrated, always use your SPF, drink water, and mind your business. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!